there has been one thing that we've managed during pre-season and into the opening round of the top 14, and that is consistent. Consistently rubbish. And we aim to end that here today in round two as we take on the equally crap pal, a team that beat us by one solitary crappy little point in pre-season. This is a chance that someone hopefully will take a win. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and our top 14 career with Montpellier as we look to end our rut of losing like absolute losers that we have been so far. Our team is unchanged and I think there's going to be a rare occasion that that is going to happen but let's see what we are up against in a team named Pal. Let's see what their players are like and matching up with ours. If you tuned in the last episode, we kind of went through our starting team and there is no changes. Once again, this man will be key. Our only try scorer and Delmaru in the middle, who is certainly going to be key, the French international in the number 13 jumper. Right, they've got Tamil Manu at 13. That is a concern. We also are up against Alexandre de Mullen in that midfield. Jack Maddox is on the right wing. Zach Henry at 10 and Jules Laval at 9. Gurgodza, big powerful runner at number 8. No other. Well, Steve Cummins there in the second row. Uh, Ramsey and nothing else in particular in their type 5 as well. So looking at this team, I feel this is a game we might be able to win. Surely, look at our back row. With Drago, Galtier, Kamara. That is massive. And, and again, the second row, Willemse. And Vahag, certainly spectacular. The back line looks good and, as well. And Gundabi has been brilliant as well in his opening appearance. Of course, Vincent has been brilliant in 12. And Domeru has been a key man. Retez, Bobfia, we should be winning this game. Maybe we'll see some bench. I mean, we're going to see benches somewhere. I don't know if it's going to be theirs or it's going to be ours. But we see Tokalahi in there and 17 as well. The former Highlander joining up with Powell. Let's get into the game. So we're Powell kicking off there in the green. We're in the blue. It's a battle of primary colors. No, is it? No, it's not. Really? I don't know the colors. Let's get underway. It's blue. It's the Belpellier boys who are receiving the kickoff. And straight away, we're going to lose the ball here, aren't we? Just about. That was terrible. It's fired back to the key man, Demeiro. And he's launching this one towards the touchline. Oh, easily fielded at the back. And Gundabi's got work to do on defense. That's a great tackle from the winger. Let's see if we can string together some performances here, lads. I want to see victories. Let's get a turnover, turnover. Yes! And Gundabi's done it. He's done a brilliant job, but he's going to lose it straight away. Oh, you never let the man against the turnover get tackled. The winger's up in the line. He's bundled through a couple of tackles there. That's Jack Maddox. And he's managed to go from 10 meters in. There's... It sounds like players are still running around. I don't know what the hell's going on there. But on we go with the game. It's a line out to Grado. Of course, no Rugby Challenge series is complete without absolute breakage of the game. Paylog, what a run there from the scrum half. Brilliant work. No fullback in place. We need quick ball. Fishton, nice in Ratiz. And Ratiz will double up. He's got two tries in the top 14 this season. And he is so key. What a break from Paylag, distributed out through the back line, and Montpellier hit the lead. And we've still got audio of some chumps running around. What is going on with that? We hear you going, shh, shh. Something, you think he's got a cold or something? What a run though, Retigues. Back to the action. The blonde tips, gonna love him. He is, well, he's about the only quality player we've got in that back line. Tabayru Retigues, that's about it. And here's Bolfier at the back. Why is it? Someone tell me why this game is so broken. I don't understand how it could be so poor. Let's concentrate first and get ourselves an extra two points. Bolfier on the left boot. Nails the conversion. It is seven points to nil. Pow are down. Early on though. Still, we will have a last episode yet. We lost in the 85th minute again. We've got to try clean that up. Let's see what we can do here. That guy's still running around. The audio is completely broken. Right, down it's gone. Tomeru! Oh, that is sensational! Little chip over the top! Chases on for the big man in the outside center position! Pass here, Darmon! Throws it to no one! And it's picked up from Powell. 
They get a chance. Fish did a good tackle there. Yay! The audio's fixed. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, I can't believe it. That silence was... Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's back to normal. Thank God for that. Right. Oh, Maddox has carved us up. Ratiz, get there. Bonfier, save us. He has. Oh, no, he has it. He's trying out the back door. Get up, get up, get up. Turn it over. It feels quiet now without that buggy audio. But it is pow. Looking. Oh, no, not a all. Not a all. Not a all. Please, we hold it up just in time. Now to the backs. Oh, no. We actually got numbers defensively here. Ratiz has to work. One on one, Ratiz. Great nice. tackle. Oh, Ratiz. That should have been the turnover. We have shored up that big gap around our breakdown from nice. last episode. If you tuned into that one, you would have seen we were terrible around the breakdown. I say that as Paylark has to go on and fill that little gap, and he gets shredded as well defensively. Powell go back in a couple of minutes. There we go. Quick ball, big tackle. Oh. Paylog's on fire! Short passes, keeping it alive! Brilliant from Powell! Bobby shut it down again! Turn over! Fish didn't get it away! Oh, someone please! I kicked away. And now it's still in the 22. Danger! Not over yet! I thought Powell in there. A little short play. Oh, that's shocking. It really is from Powell. Oh, we almost turned it over. Keep those fringes. Yes, we've injured someone already. Martin. Pyush. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Take it to Yavala. I, I, I only got halfway through his name. Well, he's on. Number 20. Crouch. Who went off? Didn't Fine. seven go off? Or was it Sit. the midfielder? No, it was seven. Oh crap, I missed the scrum. Oh, great stuff. Well, idiot. I'm as dumb as the players are blue, but we are leading on. Oh, no, CFP, swap sides. Paylar, good work. Shut this down. Oh, we've got no one out here at all. Paylar, save us. Yes, Paylar does well. Boy, oh boy, I love that little number nine. He is a fiery little nugget. Right, let's give us a chance here to clear our line. Win the line now, boys. Good work. Paylar goes back to Darmon. And he splices it off the boot. Man, we are under pressure here. How long are we going to withstand this? From the last episode too, we got absolutely sucked out of the second half. We had no ball, no territory. We've stuffed up this line out as well. How incompetent are we? Easy win for Powell. Big hole in our defensive line at the line out as well. Now we're in trouble. Demeru's lost it. It's a run to the line. Go Ratiz. Go Ratiz. It's a grubber in behind. Dive on it, boys. Oh, we've saved our bacon again. Defensive masterclass from Ratiz and our Delmeron at the end there. This might go out in the full, actually. I'm a bit concerned. I gave it a bit of a tickle. A little bit too much almost. Ratiz, get there, my boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're breaking tackles. They're offloading. This is dangerous. Yes, turnover. Oh, Vincent. Nice. And come to me. Oh, a little chip over. Oh, we got wiped out trying to get there as well. Got a little bit fancy there, lads. Good tackle, good tackle. We're not even close to that ball. Almost half time. Keep it on the clock. Let's look out. They're away again. Infield kick there, which is a bit of a concern because we got no one. Oh, Paylark. That is outstanding. Oh, no. What have I done there? Don't let them away with this. Let's get to half time. Stop with the stupid passes. We've gifted them another chance. Don't let them get away with it. Oh, there's a try. And Gundamy's not going to stop this one to the corner. Jack Maddox scores. And that is all because we're stupid idiots. Floundering in the pond. Can't pass. We're no... Oh, so stupid. We should have taken a tackle. We covered back that little kick so nicely. We had four players there. And yet we tried to pass it to each other and ran out of space. Jack Maddox scores and I'm scared now of the second half because last time, the second half, we got dominated. Jack Maddox is kicking as well. Interesting. And he's nailed it. Of course he has. It's 7-7. One injury, one try apiece. 
And a tied scoreline at the halftime break. Right, let's get to things. Second half about to get underway. In a minute, we'll have a look at some stats. Not too long, though, because it's been pretty poor reading. We've been shut out of the first half. Look at that. 24% possession, 36% territory. We've been on defense. We've made four handing errors. We've made four times the tackles almost. What a ridiculous set of stats. Absolutely unbelievable. 7-7, seven, seven, let's go. Come on, boys. Let's get a win. Let's get a drop goal. Oh, I just noticed the referee's in green as well. Let's go for that little gap right in between the posts and the winger. They dealt with it easily. Tomeiru, though, is chasing hard. Oh, ho, ho. fancy pants offloads. Let's get some pressure on that breakdown, boys. Not even going to try say that replacement staying. Oh, look at that. The tackle of the ball. Oh, come on. They're adding players in. Get there, boys. Stop it. Easy 10 meters there. Oh, no, no. Abofier, what are you doing? Why were you up in the line, you clown? Now, no, no. Don't do anything. Oh, no. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, man. Don't do anything stupid. Quote of the decade. Who is that guy with the massive hair? Oh, my God. I've never seen him before. He's got a hair on him. This, he's, it was huge. Oh, turnover. Yes, boys. Dumb on. Slap it. Oh, dumb on. That's not good. Passing charge. Give it to the most dangerous man on the paddock, which is Maddox. Maddox is Paddox. And here we go. Oh, inside. Demeru. Good tackle. Galtier does well as well. As well, as well, as well, as well. A turnover the breakdown would be nice. See what we can manage. Oh, no. Retie. Save us. Yes. Gerardo. Vinson. Yes. Big kick. Good shakes needed here. Oh, they cut me the other way. Filthy mongrels. Release. I think we need to just someone else. Paylard, get on side. Paylard, get that ball. Paylard, do better. Oh, my God, Paylard. Dumb. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, Vincent! Oh, <laughs> it's tragedy! Paylog did an unbelievable job keeping that in. And then Vincent just goes, oh, I'm gonna run straight in that same place. Oh dear, you guys, you guys are a joke. So many French internationals in this side. We turn over the line out though. There he is, big hair man! Got to be! We gotta put this one in the corner. Big kick up it goes, Vincent! Why did they get charged so badly? Here we go. Powered the ball again. Let's get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, boys, boys, boys. Oh, come on. Put pressure on this breakdown. It's rubbish. We already know that. Get there, Domeru. Ooh, turnover. Oh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. There's a substitute with a big long name that I didn't even try nice. and pronounce because it was too long for me to read. Back to Maddox. Talking about reading, we read that kick a mile away, but still got no one there. Ratiz, here we go! Spot a hole, spot a hole, Ratiz. Offload, Ratiz! No, 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 don't lose it, Ratiz. We need to get rid of this. Advantage. Oh my god, Paylag, what are you doing? What have you done, Paylag? Turn it over, boys. Give them the give them a scrum. Give them the scrum. Last thing I want is him to have an attack and then have another attack. Paylag was going for the big old thumper. Should have done the crappy box kick, shouldn't have I? Bang. Big tackle from a hooker. Straight out of the red light district, that one. Bang. Big hits. Crouch. Fine. 7-7. Seven, seven. This is Six. like the story of the two crappiest teams in the division. Going to battle. One of them dominating, but unable to put points on the board. Let's be honest. Powell should be up by about 30 to nil here. Did he pass? No, he didn't. Oh, how have we not turned that over? That is ridiculous. What's the width? What's the width? Oh, yes! Come and drown out of here. How have we not had someone injured? I don't know. That is the fifth injury of the series in the regular season. None of them for us. And here I was thinking, yeah, this is going to be good. We'll get this reserves on. Hang on, Cummins is off. Who's on? Who are you? Who are you? Crouch. Don't know. Didn't see his name. Find. Um... Oh, I was thinking we could use the bench. I thought it would be Six. good. Yeah, use the bench. Nah, no one's got broken. I'm worried here they're going to go for a drop goal. Look where they are. Oh, no, they're going fancy pants. Smash it. Smash it. We know where he's going. Oh, knock on. Yes, boys. Yes, yes, yes. 
Come on, lads. This is great, wasn't it? Paylard, look at him, switching side of the scrum. Staying within five metres, and then boom -fa! Oh, Justin Marshall special, we've got to love to see it. Find. I thought the referee was one of their players there for a second. I was about to say, why is he standing next to our scrum? Good work, good work, lads, good work. Back to Darmon, and Darmon says, well, Darmon's just put a tickler over. Fiston chases, he was offside, it's a trump goal! Maddox, no! Maddox, yes. Oh, no, 10-7. Why are my kicks? They're getting charged, they, they really are. That was a absolute, what a screamer. Right, we've got to contest, contest this ball. We've got 10 to play. 10 to play, it's 10-7. All the 10s, 10 out 10, 10, 10. Let's go again. Oh my God, I should write a book. Oh, Damon! Brilliant from him, oh, the pass. So good, that's a turnover, gotta be a turnover, gotta be a turnover, come on. Yes, boys. Refresh, should have been a penalty. Paylag. The Torn, Tomeru! Why are they so slow? Get there again. Paylag. Bag. Nice to Ratiz! Go Ratiz, you beautiful boy! Steps inside! Looks to get away, can't do it. Good tackle at the back. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the big boys. Willemsa! Get there, lads. Again? How about short side? Gerardo, oh, heavy traffic there for Gerardo. I like this, short side again, Kamara. Big bumper, Ratiz has picked it up. Now the boys, oh, Damon, go! Oh, he's so close, a couple of meters short, a minute to play. Paylag, Buffy and Tamaru scores! Montpellier get the win! It's the first one of the season! It's taken until the second week only! We will take it! We will take it by any means possible! Boy, we had to do some work on defence here! Pau should have scored four or five tries. They were wasteful! Brilliant work. Boffier up in the line. Love to see that. The referee had to inspect that the ball had actually been placed down. Uh, here is the try sister. We've won the game, lads! Yes! No bonus points, though. I mean, pickers can't be choosers, but we've won a game! Yes! Oh, I can't believe it. We've actually won a game. All the preseason losses. Pow! Beat us by one point. 15-14 or 14-13, something stupid like that. This time, we get revenge! Oh, that is sensational. 14-10. The full-time score. Montpellier. Pick up a W. Not before time. Where's that guy with the buff head haircut? It looks ridiculously awesome. Not going to see him. Wow, 14-10. Powell pick up the bonus point. Jack Maddox scored all of their points. A try, a conversion, and a drop goal. No penalties in this one, which is interesting as well. Normally, there's a lot of high tackles. That is set quite high, but it's weird. If you guys tuned in to the introduction to the series, you would have seen that preseason game, I think. Oh, I can't remember whether it was against uh, Castres. No, I can't remember who it was against. But they got about four yellow cards and, and a red card as well. And now you see a game like this, exactly the same settings. There's not even a high tackle, let alone a card. So it really does mix and match. A couple more injuries here, but... I don't know how we've got an injured player so far. We are on the board. We have a victory, 14-10. Demayu with the game scoring, or the game winning score, try. My God, words are difficult today. Ratiz, again, doubled his tally. He's got two for the season. Boffier, two out of two from the T. The conversion's perfect. We didn't get any chances to kick for goal here tonight, so it was all off the hands. And when you look at who our key players are, Ratiz, Demayu, those guys are superstars. We really got shut out of this game, didn't we? Look at these stats. We had little ball, especially the first half. We came into the game in the second half, and that really changed things. Maddox almost stole it. And there's no mention of line breaks in these stats whatsoever. That just tells you how much of a grind this game really was. 68 tackles to 30. It was 11 to 44. So we only made 
27. Uh, no, 20, 24, sorry. We're, we're on 44. They had to make just about as many as well. So big second half, big, big second half. But more importantly, we've got the W. Oh, well, what a difference a week makes, eh? What a difference a week makes. But he played two games, look at us. One win, one loss, five points on the board, one bonus as well. We sit nice, pretty much smack bang in the middle. We are on sixth position, five points, along with a lot of other teams. But I don't actually know what separates teams. I was going to say our superior points differential helps us out. But we see uh, Breve down there. Ah, it was Breve that got sent, please play a sent off. Um, they're on plus six, also on five points, and Asian are on zero. So really only Toulouse and Leon should be below us. Uh, we should be equal with Asian somewhere, and Breve should be above us. So technically we should be seventh. Let's go off that, shall we? Below us, Stade Francais, La Rochelle, Pau, Bayonet, all down the bottom. And I look forward to the day that we do play Bayonet. My God, words are rhyming like nothing else in this episode. Up the top, though, no surprise, Toulon, Clermont, Castres, who beat us. Castres, two wins and a loss in their three games. Bordeaux up there in Russing 92, a point above us in fifth place. Let's uh, take a look at our schedule. Who is next? La Rochelle, right. Where were they sitting? I can't remember. My memory is, oh, they're two losses, but only by seven points. Two losing bonus points. Okay, that could be tough. That is next. Then we do have... Agent and Bordeaux to round out September. Right, a win and a loss. I oh, know, 17-13 loss, 14-10 win. Two very, very different games, I think, between Castres and Powell. But most importantly, we've got the W. The squad, it's still good. No one's broken, no one's injured, no one was loading there for a second either. Um, and I mean, I don't see the point in changing things for the sake of it. I do like Rollhach. I want to bring him in at some point, but I'm just waiting until someone like Vincent, oh sorry, Vincent, or Domaru get injured and we'll make some changes then in the scene. It's only a matter of time, five players on the opposing teams have been injured, but no one for us just yet. Here's how the table looks to round out today's episode. Thank you all for tuning in and watching as per always. Plenty more coming, I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you're um, enjoying the rubbish French as well. I think I only spoke like a couple of words in today's episode, so you should be thankful. Next time, more French. I'll forget. But there we go. Promises kept uh, and never made. That's how we roll around here. I'll see you next time. Until then, though, thanks for watching and take care.